Since its creation in the Stone Age, the bow and arrow forever revolutionized hunting and warfare. But these two archers have honed their bow skills to a degree of pure artistry. Green Arrow, the Emerald Archer of Star City. And Hawkeye, purple-clad trick shooter of the Avengers. He's Wiz and I'm Boomstick. And it's our job to analyze their weapons, armor, and skills to find out who would win a death battle. Allow me to tell you the tale of an archer garbed in green who brought justice to the rich and championed the poor. I speak, of course, of the legendary outlaw named... Oliver Queen. What, you think I meant Robin Hood? Come on. Oliver was the son of Robert and Moira Queen, billionaire owners of the weapons and technology development company Queen Industries in Star City. Oliver was on track to inherit the family business and fortune, but it all ended up coming much sooner than anybody expected. While on safari, which rich people apparently just do all the time, Oliver's parents were murdered by lions. No, I'm not kidding, but hey, mom got off a wicked headshot before she went out. The family fortune and business were now in Oliver's hands. However, desperate to forget the horrible trauma of his parents' death by lions, he turned to a lifestyle of booze and debauchery. Ah, the best way to cope. Well, until one day he partied so hard that he fell off his private yacht. Hate it when that happens. Eventually, he washed up onto the shore of a lone island, Tom Hank style. Desperate to survive, Oliver knew he must resort to the archery training taught to him by his late father. He assembled a makeshift bow and, over time, gained an uncanny accuracy with the weapon. With each successful kill, Oliver's self-reliance grew, transforming the once irresponsible playboy into a capable survivor. And just in time! Turns out this island was home to a massive drug smuggling operation. How he didn't find them earlier is beyond me, but whatever. With nothing but his hunter's instincts and some newly improvised trick arrows, Oliver brought down the dealers, radioed in a rescue, and returned to Star City a new man. With a newfound taste for justice, Oliver vowed he would no longer waste his talents and use them to protect the innocent. To do this, he would have to become someone else, something else. He became the Green Arrow. True to his namesake, the Green Arrow favors a bow over anything else. And while that may sound like it puts him at a disadvantage, he's developed trick arrows for every situation. And I do mean every situation. He carries tear gas arrows, grappling hook arrows, flashbang arrows, even arrows filled with acid. Is that the one for the Grateful Dead concerts? N no, no, no. Corrosive acid. It, it burns through things. He also has boomerang arrows, along with diamond-tipped arrows to pierce just about anything, explosive arrows ranging from small blasts to an atomic warhead, and... Uh, the boxing glove arrow. Silly as it may appear, Oliver only kills when it's absolutely necessary. So delivering a long-range punch to the face makes some sense. At least more so than many of the other trick arrows in his quiver, like the Donut Arrow, a weapon designed to feed children. It's dangerous and delicious! Green Arrow likes to come to a fight prepared, and his expertise extends beyond just the use of a bow. He has extensive training in assassination and martial arts under some of the best teachers around, including Natas, the man who turned Deathstroke into one of the deadliest mercenaries in the world. Green Arrow became such a skilled fighter that he was voted into the Justice League, saving the world alongside the likes of Batman, Wonder Woman, Superman, and Black Canary, a smoking hot blonde who he took a liking to. Don't mind saving a few more things with her. Are we dead yet? No. Are we dead yet? Being a part of the Justice League has pit Green Arrow against foes powerful enough to be called gods, and somehow he not only survives, but he actually helps. He's fast enough to fire 29 arrows in one minute. His accuracy is so on point, he is able to shoot water dripping from a faucet at 30 feet away and split a grape balanced on a man's head. He'll do whatever it takes to get the job done, like shooting a girl's hand to keep her from falling, or... Yeah, torture. There's no way around it, he tortures people. But it's for the greater good, right? Of course, but even with all his trick arrows, his quiver does have limited space, and he prefers to keep his armor minimal, focusing instead on offense over defense. But hey, he's not all arrows and killing. Eventually, he and Black Canary got together and started up a flower shop called 
Sherwood Florist. Ah, as an expert on puns. Ten out of ten, Ollie. One arrow each. I accept your challenge on three. One. Two. hero can come from anywhere, from the streets of New York, the depths of space, or a tiny rural home in Iowa. But growing up in the middle of nowhere wasn't easy for 13-year-old Clint Barton. Turns out his dad had some bad habits, like being an alcoholic or beating the shit out of his sons, Clint and Barney. After years of abuse, Clint longed to fight back and defend his family from his violent father. Obviously a bit too much to ask of a 13-year-old child. Luckily enough, his dad's car did the job for him, along with a big tree. Remember kids, drinking and driving is not okay. I mean, do you want this to be you? That's what I thought. Orphaned by DWI, Clint and Barney had a second chance at a family and were adopted by a new dad, who was just as bad as the first. Maybe even more. Dad number two tried to run him down with his car. Until they were rescued by circus performers Jacques and Buck, who took them under their wing and into the Carson Carnival of Traveling Wonders. These guys saw potential in Clint's natural bow and arrow talent and began his archery training. Clint's skill rose rapidly and he soon took the stage as Hawkeye, the trick shooter. In only one year, Hawkeye became a master of his craft but a rift formed between teacher and student when he discovered Jacques was stealing money from the circus and training his brother Barney to be a thief. Turns out the two heroes who rescued them were actually super villains. What's with these kids luck? Did they like open an umbrella inside which scared a black cat to dart under a ladder which fell and broke a mirror reflecting the sun's rays to burn down a field of four leaf clovers? No, that happened to Nick. What? Anyway, Clint hated the idea of working for a couple of D-bags and ran away. Lucky for him, all it took to find a new calling in life was to see Iron Man soaring overhead. Another alcoholic father figure, but in the fun way. Inspired to use his talents to fight criminals just like the Iron Avenger, Clint took up his old stage name, donned his circus costume once more, and crafted a wide assortment of multi-use trick arrows. Tick, tick, boom. Hawkeye's putty arrows cover foes in glue. His acid arrows can melt through steel. He can scale buildings with suction-tipped arrows. His adamantium arrows are tipped in nearly indestructible metal. Hell, one of his arrows is a 30 megaton bomb. He also carries Pym Particle Trick Arrows. Pym Particles shrink or enlarge objects via shifting matter between dimensions. They take their name from Ant-Man. Hawkeye uses this dimensional wizardry to shoot an arrow which is literally full of other arrows. With his quiver loaded full of impossibility, Hawkeye took to the city to begin his crusade against injustice. But on his first outing while trying to return some stolen jewels, the police mistook him for a thief. And it really didn't help that he fled the scene with then infamous criminal Black Widow. Well, he knew better, but if there's one thing Hawkeye does when he's conflicted, it's not ask questions and follow where the old shaft takes you. And no, I'm not talking about a trick arrow. So he helped Black Widow until one of their shenanigans resulted in her apparent death. Believing he was free from the grip of the succubus, he remembered that crime is bad and went to join the Avengers. Not just the Avengers. Over the years, Hawkeye's lent his bow to other super teams such as the Thunderbolts and the Defenders. Avengers, Defenders, Thunderbolts, I make any team better. In the midst of highly advanced armor, rage-fueled monsters, and gods from other dimensions, you'd think a simple archer would be of little use. But Hawkeye's feats prove he is anything but simple. Hawkeye can shoot four incoming arrows out of the sky at once, shatter the bow of a distant archer with a single shot, and string his whole bow and fire an arrow in less than a second. Plus, his aim is so good he'll hit bullseyes when he's strapped to what I like to call Satan's Carousel but he is more than just an archer. After grueling training under Captain America, Clint temporarily set aside the Hawkeye suit to become the Samurai Ronin. The result even impressed Iron Fist, one of the greatest martial artists in the world. And for a supposedly normal human, he's surprisingly tough. He's shaking off falls from several stories, 
fought in battles with cracked ribs and managed to not die from this. Luckily for Hawkeye, a kid with a Ghostbusters 2 shirt found him and alerted the paramedics. And he made a complete recovery within six weeks. Who are you gonna call? The hospital, kid! Quick! Holy shit! There was like a hundred bullets bleeding everywhere! A reminder that even a seasoned Avenger isn't always bulletproof. But after this, Hawkeye's buddy Tony Stark upgraded his outfit to include some chainmail. So that's Andy. But it can't cover everything. Plus, Hawkeye can only carry so many trick arrows at once, and has to make every shot count. Also, he's kind of hard of hearing, but you would be too if a psychopath hid behind a door and jammed two arrows in your ears. But Tony also made him some kick-ass hearing aids, though if they get damaged, he'd lose about 80% of his hearing. Still, as an Avenger, Defender, and so much more, Hawkeye has accomplished a lot for a circus performer from Iowa. Okay, look, the city's flying. We're fighting an army of robots. And I have a bow and arrow. None of this makes sense. <laughs> but I'm going back out there because it's my job. If you step out that door, you are an Avenger. All right, the combatants are set. Let's end this debate once and for all. It's time for a death battle! This is how it's done! Something about this is very not right. Shot, punk. This takes real skill, you know. World's greatest marksman at your service. You should hear the boxing glove arrow when it hits. It makes this kind of sound. I gotta record it and make it my ringtone. Aww. You remind me of my circus days, clown. One little arrow, one big boom. I like not getting blown up. You're not brash if you could back it up. You're under a lot of stress. I recommend acupuncture, green arrow style. Ha! Eat your heart out, Robin Hood. Hey oh, that's a headache. Shot for shot, arrow for arrow, Green Arrow and Hawkeye are a well-made match, making this an extremely close fight. Green Arrow has pulled off some ridiculous shots, but when Hawkeye is at his best, it's nearly impossible for any mortal man to hit him. We're talking about a guy who catches arrows in his bare hands, even when he's been blinded. 
Both archers wield impressive bows, too. An average bow needs as much as 80 pounds of force to pull. Green Arrows has an impressive draw weight of 125 pounds. However, Hawkeyes is double that at 250 pounds. This is the same bow he can fire at near machine gun speeds, even at a faster rate than Green Arrow, while wearing chainmail. Oliver may have had an arrow for just about any situation, but he didn't have one for making him faster, stronger, and tougher than Hawkeye. Looks like Green Arrow got shafted. The winner is Hawkeye. Next time on Death Battle.